Hello and welcome to the Dave Dan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Track and Field Head Coach Dave Dan. And Coach, um, we're getting right down towards the end of the season. Um, first, let's talk about um, some of the kids, uh, some of the student athletes that you've had that have had some good performances and have put themselves in a strong position to compete at nationals here in a few weeks. Yeah, so right now we're looking at Derek Davis uh, yeah. in the 100 right now. He's looking pretty good to get in. Yeah. And then um, another male, Patrick Watson, yeah. is, has a kind of a top time in the 5K and the, and the 3K steeplechase. Yeah. And, I mean, some people from last year, like Idris and Richie, just have, I mean, I feel like they'll get there. It's yeah. just, I mean, we're getting down to the time of year when, when they'll compete their best. Right. And then on the women's side right now, Rachel Panic's looking really good in the heptathlon. Yeah. And then... Um, uh, I mean, we could get a few others too. Potentially, a couple in the shot put with right. Jess and Danica, yes, and then, sir. Yep. and then maybe, um, hopefully, Kim getting back in the long jump for outdoors as well. Yeah. Kimberly Hammond. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just kind of had. You know, it always seems like there's always like one or two kids that maybe that last weekend put up a big number late yeah. to kind of qualify to kind of sneak in there. So you're hoping, obviously. As we go through the conference championship and those last chance meets, that happens again. Yeah, I think th this weekend's going to be a great weekend. I think a lot of people are ready to compete their, at their best. Yeah, absolutely. So this weekend, uh, MAC conference championship, um, you'll be looking to defend. You know, not only your indoor title from the winner, mm -hmm. but also your t title. You know, co-champs with Widener last year. Um, it meets at Widener once again, and uh, just talk about how that's shaping out for both the men and the women. Yeah. So I mean, on the men's side, I mean, like you said, I mean we're defending champions so we we want to try to do that again but i mean like like i say every season it's just kind of like they know that it doesn't just happen they have right. to to um perform well on on this weekend but i would say it, it is looking really good i mean yeah. if you look at the, from a performance standpoint right. and um i mean they're they're excited so it's, yeah. it's going to be a fun weekend and, yeah. and then on the women's side you know obviously the the group of throws that you have got you you know a ton of points in yes. the in the indoor meet, you know, I'm sure you're looking, and they've been strong again outdoor, so I'm sure look, you're looking for that as, again as well. Yeah, absolutely. On the women's side, our throwing group has been the, definitely the the group that scores the most points at the championship meet, so we're, we're counting on them again. And then the, the women, I mean, it looks like that top three to four teams are pretty close, so yeah. so um, just to kind of keep, keep improving and have everyone have their best performances this weekend. Yeah, I know indoors, you know, that second through four group was within, you know, 10 or 15 points, so... You know, basically, you know, you finish fourth in the winter, you know, hopefully, you know, a few more points here and there, um, you know, move up to second or, you know, maybe even one spot higher. But um, yeah. like you said, it's so close to the top that anything it can is. happen depending on the week. And then, yeah. um, you know, obviously on both sides, I think what helps you is your depth and just having so many kids qualify for finals and, and things like that. Yeah, on, on both sides, it's nice to, to have so many people at the at the top of, yeah. of each event group. And that's kind of been a goal of ours is try to keep – keep filling in all the, all the different events. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, we thank you once again for your time. Best of luck this weekend, and um, we'll chat probably, if not before national, certainly afterwards. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Berdan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Berdan Show.